the idea that we have to be guilted into acting assumes something about human nature that says, I know you. If it were just up to you, you would happily continue to uh, live your affluent life and not care about anything else. So we're gonna try to make you care mm -hmm. by pointing out the crimes of your ancestors. I think that that is counterproductive, actually. I think that that we can we can hold another story about, about people, which is that I know you as a caring person mm -hmm. and you care about the earth and you care about your fellow human beings. And so I'm gonna show you something uh, show you a way in which our, your fellow human beings are suffering or in which the earth is suffering. And I know that when you have this information, you will want to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Like that's a different story to hold somebody in. And one of my core principles is that the story we hold somebody in is an invitation for them to act from that story. Mm -hmm. So what story do we hold people in when we... Uh, shame them for their, you know, white privilege or whatever privilege. It, it, like, I understand, like, it's coming from a place of I really want, I'm, I'm troubled by the situation on this planet, by the inequality on this planet, by the legacy of racism and, and all the other uh, isms and phobias and things. Like, I'm troubled by this. I want to make something, I want to change it. Like, I, I see where it's coming from. And I share the desire to right the wrongs and remedy the injustices and, and um, heal the traumas. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that the way that that is being pursued in what you're calling woke uh, ideology is effective. And in fact, it kind of perpetuates the underlying pattern of dehumanization. It's not a victory to switch the subjects of dehumanization from black people to white people, right. or from you know women to men. Right. Like that's that's still the same pattern. It's right. no victory if just to switch the identity of the victims, you know, to to switch the role of victim and oppressor. Right. What we really want is to end that pattern altogether. Right. And therefore, we have to change the foundation of that pattern which is our ready acceptance of dehumanizing narratives about other people.